Tight Bond. It's what your grandfather would have used. Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope everyone's doing good out there. I'm doing great. Welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel if you are a reoccurring subscriber. So I kind of got a little bit of a jump on things behind the scenes. Got caught up with some of the uh, YouTube videos that uh, I needed to catch up on and uh, was working on this a little bit in the background. So what I get done is basically the neck and a headstock are pretty much complete now as far as getting the finish on them. The only thing I have to do is drill out the holes, remove some of the tape, and do a level sanding and a buffing on the headstock. That's not a big deal. But I kind of want to do a number where I join the neck to the body and make them as one. So I ended up taking an ice pick and just putting some deep scratches not real deep but just some scratches in the wood did the same thing on the pocket on the body and what I like to use is the type on 2 premium wood glue which is water resistant and interior and exterior which makes it a little bit um, which I'm surprised there's not a lot of people that are using the premium type on instead of just using the regular type on i've used both so there to me i don't notice really too much of a difference but the water resistant uh the extra additive that this has i think just makes it a little bit more of a insurance as far as being a nice strong bond as well but both products are good so i'm going to go ahead and start to get these two to join together So here you can see there's a pencil line going around the heel of the neck. Before the finish was applied to the neck, I put the neck in the body, drew my pencil line very lightly, removed the neck, moved the lines in about an eighth of an inch down the neck, 
erased and removed the light pencil marks that were on the neck. This way it gave me an idea of how far down the neck I can clear before I get into the glue area and leaving the glue area dry of any type of a clear coat or finish. That way I can apply the glue, know exactly where to stop, put the neck inside the body. The pencil line is in about an eighth of an inch inside of the pocket so it won't even be seen and still have a nice glue area, tight bond area, and a nice clean finish going into the body. This way everything doesn't look like I just applied clear to it and it all kind of goes into itself. So here you can see that there's a healthy amount of squeeze out of the tight bond glue. The clamp is at the lowest part of the heel of the neck and there's going to be a lot more squeeze out when I apply the second clamp to it. After applying the second clamp, you can see that there is more of a squeeze out, not that big of a deal. That's something that you want to see. A little bit of water on a rag. That's the nice thing about Type-On is it's water cleanup. Wipe it right off. Something that you really want to do because if you're not finished doing the finishing of the guitar, like putting stain on or something, the stain will not stick to the glued areas if there's glue still on the wood. So it's something that you want to make sure that you remove once you see it. Now, how do you know that your neck and your body are nice, even flat with each other after clamping? Pay attention to the squeeze out. If you know that you put an even amount of glue on all surfaces, I use a brush. Some people use a credit card or some people will use uh, you know, their finger or whatever. You can kind of tell if you're putting an even amount of glue on all sides of the surfaces that you're applying it to. Once you put the clamp in and you see that there's pretty much a good even or somewhat even squeeze out from one end of the surface to the other end of the surface where the seams are, that's a good sign that you've got no debris and the neck and the body are seated together pretty damn tight. If there was like a piece of wood or some type of uh, debris inside that pocket and you go to put the neck on it and you clamp it and then you notice that there is a lot more squeeze out on one side and very very little on the other side of that seam, chances are there's something inside there that's stopping you from seating both surfaces together nice and tight. Also after you clean up that uh, squeeze out, you'll be able to tell if the two surfaces are put together and nice and flat with each other just by looking at the seam itself, if there's a little bit of a gap or something. Sometimes you may not even tell because the, how tight it is, but you'll be able to tell with the squeeze out that there's a problem someplace. All right, so next is basically the waiting game, waiting for glue to dry. Type-on usually takes about 24 hours before you can unclamp it and, uh, you know, start going to the next process. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing. So until next time, take it easy. Mm -hmm.